found another copy of Jack Be Nimble, Jack Be Thick. Nice. Very nice. I think I'm at level nine mining. Every node in the quarry is done. Nice. Prehistoric skull. What's up, Casey? Just sending some stuff up. How you been? Let me, uh, I'm going to be watching Degrassi. I'm going to be in another chat, you guys. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I don't think you want to hear me reacting to Degrassi, so I'll, I'll be, I'll jump into another chat. Enjoy your start, you guys. Thanks. Man. Love you guys. Enjoy, enjoy Degrassi. Hell the fuck yeah, I'm going to enjoy Degrassi. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I didn't do fucking shit. Just finding clients. What's up, Mad Dog? Oh, yeah. It was, I there's a picture that Bug sent me that I have to fucking. I'm gonna like, so I'm gonna stream. I'm gonna start watching Degrassi because someone suggested it while I'm streaming. And I'm also gonna try to have it up for you guys. Uh, obviously, do whatever I have to do to fucking you know copyright shit. Uh, but uh, yeah, Degrassi gaming and uh, let's make fun of it. Trying to set this thing up though. Give me one second, boys and girls. How y'all guys doing? All right, header chat. Your account. Screen capture. No, it wasn't this. Whatever it takes. I know I can see you through. Uh oh. Let me move this over here. Uh, Degrassi, the next generation. If I hold up, I mean, I wouldn't be again. Okay, bet. Are we doing reaction? Reactions, noise. I've seen Degrassi before. I mean, I was like a little kid when I watched it. I fucking love that show. But gaming talking to you guys and having on something on the on the, on the background that we can watch together and make fun of sounds pretty much up my alley mm. media file video capture all right let's take this one let's see that's the grassy wiki sons of bitches uh, watch show Plus, I figure with the whole Drake controversy, this would be great. Which is weird. Browser source, here we go. Add source. Let's name leave it named as browser source. No, it can't be browser source. It has to be window. Close. Open. Uh, capture display window. It'd be window capture, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would be. Mm. There you go. Found it. Method capture automatic. Mm. 
This can get the fuck out of here. We move. Alright, now I just gotta do some fucking filter on it so that way. Where are you at settings? Probably grayscale will be the best one. Let's let's run it and see how we like it. All right, y'all, y'all watching it in grayscale, but I'm, <laughs> uh, y'all watching it in grayscale, but I'm gonna, I got color, so. I gotta move my cam more that way. Yes. Be great. She really needs to be around other people. Speaking of needing other people, I checked the reunion website last night. You're not confirmed. I know. I know. Joey, we're all sorry that your wife died, but it's been a year. I think that Julia would be upset if she thought that you were cutting yourself off from people. Can we, um, why don't I go in, get the keys, and we'll go for a spin, okay? Angela, you want to go for a spin? Yeah, we're going to sell Lucy a car. Yeah, the grassy cam. Not as good as a foot cam. Not as not as good as a foot cam as we saw. Pick any three home baked dishes to make a meal your family will love. Pick a main, pick a side, pick a veggie. Cook them all together. And if it's too hard to decide, that foot cam was months, wild. Three more tomorrow night. Home baked four twenty five thirty. Same oven, same temp, same time. All right, how does that look for you guys? Hopefully, it looks fine. No. I Looks really weird. I hope you're Mr. Simpson. I am. And you must be Emma. Wow. 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 Spike found all this stuff. It's amazing. All right, yeah, that, there Spike. you go. That's better. My mom's nickname. Don't ask. And I can see fedoras are making a comeback. Ah, great. Thanks a lot, guys. Uh, listen, go and enjoy your last few days of freedom. Okay. Spike? Ow! Hey, guys, no running. No, no running. Okay, no, just keep running. Don't listen to me. All right. Boy, look at all the computers. <laughs> Emma? Spike? All right. Oh, I see. You gonna email Jordan from here? Shut up. Oh, he can read into my soul. Ow! And the jewel in the Degrassi crown? Media Immersion Lab. Every computer here is connected to the internet via high-speed telephone. I need to lower the fucking video a second. Nothing. Apparently I had leftover egg roll. Master volume. Don't ask. 
access. Oh, you see, Toby? If you'd have that, you're old school. Toby? JT? Mickey Hickey Wobble. Mickey oh. Hickey Yap. Mickey Hickey Wiggle. Dorothy Summer Camp. Dude, what do you think is that friend? My dad moved in with his girlfriend. And what the fuck? <laughs> to school, so. I think we'll let you two get reacquainted, and your father and I will finish filling out the forms in my office. So, Toby, you need a. Uh, I'm going to walk home, okay? Cool. Oh, sorry. Uh, Manny, Emma, this is Toby. We were at camp together. No, really? Um, <laughs> nice to meet you. Yeah. Okay, the coast is finally clear. Manny, you're coming in with me. No, you two no, stand guard. No, no. So, is your friend always like that? Always. Really? <laughs> oh, hell yeah, dude. That was awesome. Kids. Totally changed person. I have no idea what. It... Wait, Mandarin? I think that's it. That's the only. Cantonese? I know two. I know two languages. The names of them. Not even anything about them. <laughs> Didn't that guy die? Like. In real life, the actor. Well, it's just one weekend. I want to show you off. No. So Yeah, that's perfect. Great. Five o'clock. Thanks, babe. I love you too. Oh, Brian, please do. <laughs> Your nickname is Snake. You're so cool. Oh, wow, it's great to see you. Likewise. So your teacher at Tabrassi. Reed Wool is Egg Wool. Oh, you like Egg Wool? Oh, okay, there you go. Fucking. <laughs> this is your greatest memory of Degrassi. What? So I went through a headband phase. <laughs> the 80s. You were there. I was speaking of the 80s. How about this? Oh. Joey's yeah, she's gonna die in a car accident, isn't she? Nice. Nice, it suits you. Where's the shirt? I don't know. I think Joey's still wearing it. <laughs> you know? Ooh, look at that. You sell me a car like that, Jeremiah. Would you calm down? If we're caught, I'll say I forced you. Uh huh. What? What do you say? Manny? Yeah. Hello. Is coming here. And he wants to meet <laughs> tomorrow. So, what's your dinosaur's name? Allie. Allie? Oh, why are there so many fedoras in this goddamn show? Do you want egg well? And we haven't narrowed it down yet. So you're all invited. Right, so when do we actually get to meet you? He's on an afternoon flight from LA. He's dying to meet you guys. LA, uh, is he in show business? Mm-hmm. He's a director. I always knew you'd meet the, the guy. I want egg well. Hey Bobby. Well, I guess um I should probably go. Uh check into my hotel. Um, but Joey. The, the reunion. Oh. Really not gonna go? No, I'm not. The fact that she's not I oh, ironically wearing that fucking fedora is baffling to me. You know what? He'd love to. We'll both be there. Great. Alright, so I'll see you guys later then. Hi, Caitlin. I want to meet him. It's just I told him I was in high school. You almost there. Jordan's coming here. You have to meet him. It's fate. Who's Jordan? Some creep Emma met on the net. I bet he lives in Scarborough and works at a video store. I bet he's 40 and drools. You still wet the bed, but I'm friends with you. Ha ha ha. Okay, if you're meeting a That is you awkward as fuck. He's meeting someone from the internet? That's dangerous. That's, yeah, facts. He emailed me his picture. I've known Jordan a lot longer than I've known you. Guys, it's 
The same. <laughs> He's coming here on a school trip. School trip? Oh, oh. It's summer. We organized it back in the spring. He got to vote last night. Quit making this into something it's not. Try and speed past that one. <laughs> I can't wait to meet Keith. He's got great taste in jewelry. That's a good sign. Mm, thank you. Um, actually, I picked it out myself. Because he, you know, he was so busy with pre production and all that kind of stuff. He just gave me his card and said, go crazy. Can't complain about crazy. Why are you on my computer? Excuse me, our computer? You're on the reunion site again? Next time, can we try asking before trespassing? Next time, could we be more polite to our guest, M? Caitlin Rose, what the fuck? Planet, birth date, March 2nd, 1972. You're a Pisces, right? And you're a stalker. I can't believe you're actually here. In my really messy room. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Oh my god, it's great to see you. All grown up? She wishes. So, expecting an email from your boyfriend? Did you? You hacked my email? Haven't you ever heard of privacy? Relax, I couldn't hack my way out of a paper bag. But I can't tell when my daughter's getting interested in boys. On top of that, Mom, I'm not having so can the American government. <laughs> I'm gonna have fun this weekend, right? I promise. <laughs> Bye. Okay, we've gone through all the email. No video store. No mention of missing teeth. JT's just worried about you. JT's just immature. That Toby guy seems okay. He's fine, I guess. Young. Girl, you're like 12. He's so much more mature than boys. That's why I like Jordan. I've never had a boyfriend, so... Smart. So thoughtful. And you've never had a boyfriend. Right? I know. Maybe you're talking to strange people on your ah, ooh, hold on a second <laughs> bug don't you talk to strange people on the internet <laughs> Manny I can take care of myself you don't need to worry so much we'll meet somewhere public Maybe we should just talk to your mom she's cool she should understand she's not that actually don't we all like dating apps Are you saying that is true she is like 10 meet Jordan Oh, motherfucker. Three delicious dishes. Ooh, the best part of waking up are ads in my cup. Wait, Amazon Prime gives you ads now? Amazon Prime gives ads? That's insane. Propaganda? What do you mean propaganda? <laughs> the internet is not a. Oh no. We we summon random strangers' cars from an app on our phone and getting them willingly, and pay a premium for it. Trust the internet. Pro like we don't care. <laughs> we don't care. We're we're bound to get fondled. Yeah, we're bo we're bound to get fondled. We're a fondled generation. Wow, teaching is so noble. You know, giving back, etc. I forgot how pretentious this was. The script about you guys, kind of a dangerous minds meets footloose kind of thing. Just man, I fucked that guy up right there. Just a second, I I'll take this. Yo, Frankie. Yeah. No, I'm into He reminds me of Daredevil. No, I haven't seen any Eskimos yet. Uh no. <laughs> Caitlin, I watch your show every week. The situations you get yourself into, you're you're amazingly brave. Brave? So what about you? What about me? Oh, come on, don't be so modest. Two years of physical therapy, followed by an honors BA and a master's in anthropology. A PhD in one more year? Guys, that's not brave. Oh, no, you're right. It's just uh, brilliant, awesome, and amazing. It's not even awesome. It's just life. I survived the accident. I got off easy. 
Sort of like wheels. Oh fuck. She what? Was a kid. What accent? Ten years later. Scott. You know what? I'm actually gonna turn the fucking black and white thing because it's it's aggravating to look at. Like only, I'd be down to watch the grassy, but I needed a commercial, so I made a commercial. Right on, man. It makes or breaks a business. Just just hold on a second. Frankie, listen. Uh, listen to me, they're from a major. You're not gonna sign a deal in some low-rent pancake house. Fix it, okay? But, uh, Joey, next time, hire a real actor. You know, avoid this shifty, used car salesman vibe. Bro, you got that vibe. Yeah, that's what I no, thank you, Keith. No problem, that's what they pay me the big bucks for. God, it's funny, it's, it's classic, it's, it's a... It's Joey. Joey. Yeah. Keith, if you had seen Joey through high school, total ham the whole way through. Bet. I think it's great. Imagine it's how much porn she watched. Through, you're still the same old Joey. I don't think I had a Actually, computer in my room until I was like 15, 16. And so if you, excuse me. Oh. Ew, you over there right now. Flick your bean in the dining room? What's going on here? Nothing's going on. Just knew this was a bad idea, so I'm going home. Stink, you get off my back. Please, don't start. You're cutting with the rest of the world. Are they ironically calling him Snake? Or is that really his name? Your students? I'm not a child. I don't need you or anyone else telling me how to live my life. You work with what you got, Crows. I get feeling sorry for me. Why do you think I don't want to go to one night? It just makes me feel worse. So this has nothing to do with Caitlin? No. No, it doesn't, all right? All right, I don't like your voice, to be honest. Whatever. And I don't like the fact that she feels sorry for me. But I'm fine. And frankly, I am sick and tired of everyone trying to save me. You know what? I'd look and see who's feeling sorry for who right now. I I R C. Yeah, he. I I remember him as the principal. Governments have reunited. What are you talking about? Sorry, sorry. I'm supposed to be quiet. Just uh, one glass, though. Okay, Keith's waiting for me back at the hotel. Can I help? Hey, Emma. How are you? Keith's waiting for me. She probably. Keith's waiting. Can I ask you something? Sure. Let me guess. My friends don't think I should be with him. Well, what do you think? I mean, just huh? Yeah, we get along so great. Sometimes, it's like you can read into my soul. Well, sometimes, then you just have to take a chance. Go for it. Even if your friends don't think it's right. Like what you do for the environment? Yeah, exactly. If my family had their way, I'd be working in an office right now, somewhere on Bay Street. <laughs> I'm paying more attention to Degrassi. Come on, I want details. <laughs> on what? Hey Spike, what do you think of Keith? Caitlin could do a lot better. On the web? Like on the web? I'm assuming. <laughs> but how do you know? I mean, when it's one of those times. Oh, you know I'm here. And it's usually the oops, bonding moment. 
Oh, no, no. Just a uh, boring Emma with tales of my environmental crusades. What you said? Wow. <laughs> Honey, do you want to join us for a minute? No, I'm tired. Night. Night, Em. So, Fuck. what were you talking about? Oh, wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> oh, she's so young. Oh, and you're so old. <laughs> what? I'm practically 30. I refuse to have this biological talk discussion. I honestly, I don't even feel it. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't mind going out on a date. Oh, oh my God, that's disgusting about you're it. You're almost no 30. And they're acting like that's crazy. Organic food and environmental chit-chat. <laughs> Poor Caitlin. So many vegans, so little time. Yeah, I, it was on a website. Posted we pictures of anime characters and forums sharing your own art and discussing anime. I remember Cybering was on that site. Okay. Jesus Christ! And monthly payment of the car you want to buy. That's super smart. I make the deal myself. It's your car. You should make the deal you want. The deal you make on your phone is the deal you pay. It's that simple. Oh no, you motherfucker! Then just go to the dealership for a hassle-free purchase because you already made the deal yourself. Get the real deal at Driver.com. That's all I saw is deviant art shit. Emphasis on deviant. Got you, bitch. I'm locked in now. The grass is fucking. It is incredibly cringe. Oh, I can only imagine. Bitch. Or. Mother Mia. Mama Mia. Oh, you whore. I do not think I've had anything that cringe. I don't think I've ever had an like an online early girl only girlfriend or shit like that. You know, to catch a predator has really ruined this for me. Like, the likelihood that's a 40-year-old man, and then, uh, what's his name? Fucking... Who's the guy that does the catch a predator? I'm not looking. Emma, you saved my heart and my project. Love you. You're... Okay, we're watching recaps. The next season's where where it gets pretty lit. Mom, you're going to be so late. Too late. I am late. Wow. You look incredible. You sure? Seriously, it's kind of scary. I feel like I'm going to the prom I never got to go to. Is she pregnant or something? You really want me out of here, don't you? Is there something you're not telling me? Yeah, Manny and I are gonna watch TV all night. And we might even eat popcorn with real butter. Very shocking. 
Okay, smart mouth. Wish me luck. Yo, I used to get my ass whipped for saying shit like that. It wouldn't stop me, but I'd still get my ass whipped. On camera or not. here give you a tour of the new and improved Degrassi and I'll hook up with you right before the speeches okay oh, okay why we have to take a tour how about I get us some drinks oh, okay the media immersion program is very unique to our school we have over 50 high-speed computers which can show oh, hell yeah and other educational papers we also have the most absolute media arts which is all part of the new renovation No way. Yeah, I'm not going. Really? I'm so relieved. Yeah, maybe I'll meet him when I'm older, right? Hey, absolutely. Want me to come over? Um, there's this show on tonight about the wildlife refuge, and I really want to watch it. You know, for Jordan. I could help you research. Uh, it, it's okay. I really need to concentrate. So, oh, okay. It's about to start, so I'll call you tomorrow, okay? This is how people get diddled. I one hundred percent. This is how people get diddled. Our history room to the right, our geography room to the left, and the English department up ahead. I'm really sorry about last night. It wasn't the way I had pictured seeing you again after all those years. Me neither. Can we just say that that the past is the past, and that the present is now the past, and 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 that the future is uh, uh I don't know what I'm saying. I, I I just I'm trying to say, I want us to be friends again. Okay. Me too. Good. Joy, stay. Just hang out. Come on, no pressure. It won't be a reunion without you. Oh my God. Caitlin Ryan, Joey Jeremiah, Allison. Hi. <laughs> wow, it's been ages. Oh, but I see you every week on that show. What's it called? Oh, and you, your commercial. Yeah, I know. It's totally cheese. Oh, Joey, it's sexy. The way you rip off your shirt. Oh. Almost made me want to buy a car. Oh, yeah? Well, can I buy you a drink instead? Ooh! <laughs> that was smooth! Oh, that man's getting it in tonight, 100%. Oh, I don't want to see it. <laughs> I will look at that later, not on stream. Please record your message now. Hi Jordan, this is Emma. Uh, I know I'm a little early, so I guess I'll just wait down here. But I'm wearing... You know what I look like. Okay, I guess I'll see you soon. Toby, you have a visitor. Manny. What's up? I've got a bad feeling. I went by Emma's. Not there. I tried to stop. Didn't pick up. So? So, she said she was staying home tonight to watch a show on Wildlife Refuge. It's not on. I checked. Well, she didn't go meet that Jordan guy, did she? I have no idea. She was acting really weird. So let's go from BC. She meets this guy online. They hit it off. She goes to meet him. Three days later, they find her dead. Like, in pieces. That was some psycho. Emma's way too smart for that. She gets, like, practically straight A's. So, this isn't school. Where would they go? Well, we can't call her. We can't read her email. Why not? <laughs> I mean, you know, I don't know me, but I do went to high school. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just... Katie is really pushing this marriage thing, and uh, I'm, I'm about to hit it big down in LA, and uh, so her career would have to take the back seat. I, I don't, I don't think that's fair to her. I completely understand. I mean, you're an artist. You need to be free, open to uh, 
new experiences. Oh my god. You're not, you're not Emma, are you? Who are you? My name is Mr. Nystrom. I'm a teacher with a school trip. One of my students is supposed to be meeting a girl. Are you Emma? Yeah. Oh, great. I'm Jordan's teacher. Don't tell him that I told you this, but he is so excited to meet you. So am I. I mean to meet him. Well, come on up. We're just about to have some dinner. If you'd rather wait here, I can send Jordan down after he eats. But he did want you to sign his petition. He brought it with him? All the way from Yellowknife. What's your mom's maiden name? Uh, Nelson, same as Emma. Okay, that's not it. Does she have a dog? A fish? Anything? The chances of her not getting diddled in a situation were so low. Secret question. What's mom's favorite rock band? <laughs> next week, he's going to be sending the petition off to the United Nations. Wow, that's incredible. Jordan's a pretty impressive kid. After you. Oh, it's Drake. It's Aubrey. Hey, guys. Pizza's here. Oh my god, Aubrey's whipping my ass. We're gonna be making a video journal of this trip. It's a really big deal for these guys to be coming here. Well, there's no use letting this get cold. Uh, the guys are gonna be back in here any minute. You know, Jordan talks about you all. I hear that you're a fellow hiker. I take the guys hiking around Yellowknife sometimes. There's some really amazing trails there. You don't like mushrooms? No, I'm not hungry. Where are the kids? You know what? I think I left my bag downstairs. I'm just gonna go and see. Sir. Oh, he. Oh. Emma, your bag's right here. Uh oh. I would have got diddled. I figured it out slower than she did. <laughs> Fuck, I would have got diddled so hard. <laughs> this is amazing. Seeing you all here together again. You know, I was actually afraid to come here. Afraid that nothing would be able to compare to our memories of this place. Or that we'd spend time oh, I would have got so diddled. Mistakes, you know, comparing ourselves. Who's done what? Good for her for locking herself in the bathroom. Bad for her for locking herself in the bathroom. She figured out the lock really quick. Excuse me? We're here to celebrate our future. Hey, Allison. Are you planning to go to Los Angeles before or after he breaks up with Caitlin? Oh, okay. Your bipolar jealous thing has got a little out of hand. Excuse me? What kind of loser comes to his fiance's high school reunion and tells a stranger that he's gonna break up with her when he makes a dick? What, you were eavesdropping? That is so uncool. Uncool? Yeah, it's so none of your business. Hey, she's my friend. I'll make it my business. And whether you tell her... Try anything when we're up. Just relax, Joey. I would have punched him in the face. You don't touch my fucking face. Yeah, there you go! Elbow! Elbow, what are you doing? He's stage fighting, motherfucker. Oh my god, he's actually getting his ass kicked. He would have been two knuckles deep in your ass by the time you figured it out. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Is this what you want? Huh? Is this more important to you? Huh? Joey, come on. Take it. What the hell is going on? This psycho just came running at me with all this crap about us. Uh... Just tell her before it's too late. Eddie, there's nothing going on here. She's insane. He's jealous. Tell me what. So he has doubts about getting married. Who doesn't? You don't want to 
to marry me, Keith? Yeah, there's a second episode. Second episode, we're dealing with a diddler and a failed marriage. thing I want is to scare you so I'll tell you what this is quite literally the scariest situation I've ever watched or you can stay if you want just to talk it's up to you get ready for the next battle what could she possibly have in that bag she's like 10 12 years old leave the bag Any memories? You know what? I'm relieved. As bizarre as that may sound. <laughs> it doesn't sound that strange. I mean, here I am, practically turning thirty, right? And never had a. I, I take insult to this. Longer than a few months, and then, because I'm always working. I meet Keith, and it's he's not always such an ass. Could have fooled me. And then, you know, when it does last long, they're gonna kiss, aren't they? Yes, yeah, gonna be married. I thought it could work. He's so much fun. I mean, it's so obvious. Whoa, she asked him to marry? Last night. I'm such a fraud. No, 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 Caitlin, you're not a fraud. You, you're one of the most trusting. Caring people I know. It would never be a thought. Joey. With Julia? How did you know that it was right? By the way, should I put the volume up for on Degrassi or anything? I love that she called me Joe. Hair smelled like rain, and she always, always made me laugh. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, no, don't be. I'm not. I was lucky. <laughs> you were. Yeah. There, picture of her mom. What does her T-shirt say? Who are the folks? Come on, you guys. Who wouldn't make her password that easy? Get ready for the next battle. Uh. If I can do it, so can Jordan. Sorry, Emma. We're going in. You need to get the fuck out of there. She's still holding the pizza. She's traumatized. My noise, and I take your mouth. And oh I my. you'd want that. Hit him with the pizza. Hit him with the pizza. I don't get it. See, look here. You and Emma left chicken room. The next day she mentions a new email to you. So? Jordan's next email? He likes chicken run too. Big deal. Coincidence, right? But the next day, Emma emails you some garbage about how great fresh air is. Jordo's next email? I love hiking. Being out in the fresh air makes me feel so free. Emma writes to you or to anyone? He echoes it back to her. The guy's not looking into her soul, he's reading her email. Oh, it's got dark. at her reunion she doesn't even know that you're missing we have hours get ready for the next battle there his last message 
He's at the Bartley Valley, room 1409. Teach kids like Emma. We get to dance with their mother. <laughs> Someone's gotten smoother in the last ten years. Nelson, Nelson, there she's right over there. Miss Nelson, Miss Nelson. Nelson. Guys, what's up? It's, it's Emma. We, we can't bring them to find out where she's at. Wait a minute. Miss Nelson, we can't bring it. Hello, police. My daughter's in danger. I don't know who she's with. All I know is that it's someone she met on the internet. Please hurry. You guys go home. I'll call your parents. There's some shit going on. First off, isn't this Canada? Oh no, this is gonna be Oh no. You smell so sweet. Throw the whole computer out. If you make it out of this alive, throw the whole fucking computer out. Everything about it. Throw it out. Spike, as a man, you have to fight this guy one on one to the death. There's been a misunderstanding. Misunderstanding. What? Hit him a few times at least, bro. I'm starting to remember that this show is a lot darker than I thought. Jail? Oh yeah. And when this comes back, keep it downstairs. Keep the cyber stalkers out of the room. No amount of at, no amount of ass whooping would have. Si <laughs> you could have been you could have been killed you've never made a mistake before like maybe having me it's not the same thing. I you. screwed up I'm a dumb kid no you're not dumb that's what's so confusing you kept this guy a secret for eight months why didn't you tell me you know you can talk to me about anything no I can't you're my mom don't you get it you don't remember what it's like being 12 you don't remember anything oh my god I was right there are 12 I do. Em, will you remember one thing? Even when you hate my guts, I'll always try to listen. And I'll try to understand, but 
We have to keep talking, okay? I love you more than anything else in the world, okay? Mommy, I was so scared. Oh, I know you were, baby. I know. That's two episodes in. <laughs> oh, look at this main character wannabe. This is going to be the best year ever. First thing we need to do, Terry, we need to get you a boyfriend. <laughs> It'll happen. Trust me. Uh, Terry, I am not a shoe in We won't even know if I'm president until the final vote is counted. <laughs> okay, yeah, I just need to have a shower and get dressed. Uh, oh, no, not again. Uh, Terry, I've got to go. All right, I'll see you at school. Bye. He'll be out. How do you know it's me? Could be your mom. Could be my dad. They have their own bathroom. Then go use it. I just got here. Toby, come on, be reasonable. I have to get to school to put up my election posters. Aren't you the only one running? Toby, remember what Dr. Freed said? A generous attitude makes for a generous family. Now get out of the bathroom now! Toby, what will it take for you to open that door? Just say please. Please. Now say... Toby Isaacs is the coolest kid at Degrassi. Way, way cooler than any stupid grade 8 could ever hope to be. Toby, I have to get something. Get what? Your hairbrush? Your eyeliner? Your... Training bra? Mom! No, we've been three episodes, two, two crazy episodes in, and and nothing of Aubrey, nothing of old Drake. I got it, got it. Dr. Freed says we need to work together and try to be more like siblings. We find all the time. Special siblings. Nazormi, what's up? How you doing? Just watching Degrassi playing some uh, Tekken. How about yourself? Naz, there you go. Ouch, what a cunt. Manny, there's nothing to be afraid of. Nothing but the grade 8. You're only a year older than us. Yeah, a whole year to think of ways to make us suffer. Um, 
Is Leo a chick or a dude? I'm not too sure. You're not allowed on school property without a hall pass. But we didn't get one. Then you'll both have to leave. But <laughs> we can't. It's the first day of school. Grade sevens are such geeks. There he is! Old Champagne Poppy himself. Hey guys. Hey. Hi. And that's our homeroom? Cool. Hey guys. Uh, sorry I'm late. Damn. Okay, go. Alright. Uh, just choose your own seats for the time being. Community school. I'm Mr. Simpson. I'm your homeroom and media immersion teacher. And I gotta say, you guys really lucked out. I mean it. This is by far the coolest homeroom in the entire school. Isn't it the First only one? Order of business. These are the code of conduct forms concerning the computers and the internet. All right. I want to get this out of the way before we get to know one another. Some of you I know already, and a few of you are new faces altogether. Welcome. Gavin Reginald Mason. Um, I prefer spin. Mm -hmm. This year, am I gonna have to give you, what was it, another 14 detentions? Not if you don't want to. Uh. Okay, learning and good grades are all very important here at Degrassi. But so is getting involved in the school. That's why I'm starting a spirit squad this year, Miss Kwan. We so need one. Great, Paige. It's so industrious of you. Um, and speaking of industrious, Ash. Yes? Your first day of school, and you already have a professional campaign underway? Excellent start. Thank you. Students are reminded that 3.15 today is the deadline for student council nomination. E. Manny, this isn't so bad, is it? As long as we don't run into that jerk again. Is that your stepsister? She's not my stepsister. We just happen to be stuck in a forced living arrangement. Well, I think she's pretty. Ashley hates that I live in her house. And she hates that I go to her school. Which has obviously never heard of democracy. What are you talking about? This election. No one's even running against her. She's a shoe in Why don't you run? Because it would provoke a rupture in our fragile family dynamic. It's family counseling speak. My dad would kill me. So, get someone else to run. Yeah, right. Who'd want to run for student council? The whole thing's a joke. Did you say joke? No way, Toby. I'm not doing a joke campaign. Oh, come on, JT. It's the perfect way to stick it to Ashley. But this is my first day at Degrassi. Exactly. You're in the same boat as a large percentage of the student body, which is why I don't love you. Come on, JT. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. For you to stick it to Ashley? No. For you to practice your stand-up material on a large receptive audience. Keep talking. You want to be famous, right? This is instant fame. Just think. Assemble. The whole school hanging on your every word. And you'll do all the work? Deal. <laughs> What if I win? Trust me, you don't stand a chance. You want Fuck just happened to the sun. Fuller hair? You need expert skincare. New Dove Scalp Plus Hair Therapy Serum. Active skincare ingredients. Targets the source of beautiful hair. Your scalp. For visibly thicker, stronger, fuller hair. The poster's a little low on the left. Just bring it. Ashley Kerwin, we haven't met. I'm Liberty Van Zandt, and I'm running for secretary. We're gonna be a great team, just think. I'd like to discuss a few ideas so our policies will be in sync. First, I think we should tackle a lack of a school newspaper. Why don't we wait till after the election? Great, um, your poster's a little high on the left. What was that all about?
Oh, that's what happened. You do know it's Princess Kami. I don't know what the fuck was going on. I'm gonna make so many changes at the school, Terry. And not just superficial stuff. I want the students to feel heard. Uh, Ash. What is that? Hmm? Oh, a poster without your picture on it. JT York. That annoying little friend of yours. What's wrong, Ashley? Afraid of a little competition? You are so wasting your time. School president is always in eighth grade. Well, uh, this year that's gonna change. Here, here. He is people, our great alternative. In a world dominated by cruel, selfish eighth graders, JT is our last shining hope. I couldn't have said it better myself. Thank you, Degrassi. Grade seven running for president? I wouldn't be caught dead voting for him. Besides, I think Ashley and I, Liberty Van Zen, will make an excellent team. If elected, I, JT York, will do what a real politician would do. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> and, like a true politician, I will accept bribes. People are actually paying attention to him? He's pretty funny. If you like a totally immature humor. I don't know, that was actually pretty fucking... Pretty good. What the fuck? For JT. You'll do the right thing. I know you will. It's working. Vote for JT. It'll do you good. You'll love him. Nice to meet you. Toby Isaacson, you shrimp. Why are you doing this to me? I'm not doing anything. JT wants to run for president, so I'm helping him out. JT doesn't care about the school. How do you know? Guess what? Uh. Degrassi doesn't revolve around you. Anyone can run. The guy is an idiot, and he doesn't know anything because he just got there. Ashley, what's the problem? Oh, great. Take his side again. Don't even try to figure out what we're talking about. I mean, I put all my effort into this race. There was no race. New now there Challenger. is. Toby, are you running against Ashley? Battle. No, his friend JT is. I'm helping my best friend run his campaign. What's wrong with that? What's wrong is he's only doing it to bug me. Come on, Ashley. I'm sure he's not. A hundred percent he is. Every right to help run his best friend's campaign. Ooh, what's that? Today's the big day. Written your defeat speech yet? JT is not going to win. <laughs> you wish. Just think. You're about to lose to a seventh grader. <laughs> what a cunt. <laughs> Hi, my name is Paige, and of course Ashley's gonna win today. Sure, some students may resent her for being so perfect, but Ashley always gets what she wants, so why should today be any different? Actually, I'll tell you why today's different. See, I just got these brand new glasses. I think they look rather nice with my outfit, don't you? Oh, and my belt. Please be get a close one. Belt, thanks. Beautiful, eh? And my new purse so everyone can see all that I own. What do I have in here? Right. This? This is mine. <laughs> this is such, like, Macintosh vibes. <laughs> look at this. You've got as much support as Ashley. It's just some stupid poll. <laughs> this is before your speech. Forget it. You're on the verge of making Degrassi history. Am I the only one excited here? I thought the point was to make her sweat. <laughs> exactly. The closer you come to beating her, the sweatier she gets. Yeah, well, I'm getting pretty sweaty too. Because if I win this thing, I'm going to have to do a lot of work. It would be tragic if 
Ashley lost today. But if she did, and if I, Liberty Van Zandt, am elected as secretary, I will work closely with JT to ensure excellent standards of student government. Oh, what? She's already jumping ship. What the fuck? What kind of friend is she? Uh, hi. You're coming with us. What? What did I do? Like, what did I do? What did I do? Her muscle her. Get ready for the next battle. Okay, sixty. You see, I jump at that, but um, I've got this older brother. He just lost the race for school. Sixty-five. My parents were shattered. They had to go on Prozac. I can't let them do that again. Eighty bucks, and that's my final offer. Eighty good. Glad to hear it. But for that amount, I want to show. I want you to quit in front of the whole school. Bullshit. I still get to say my speech. Half now. She the rest after. She had it what the you're doing business with you. She had a hundred. There's some back deal shenanigans. This American politics? Marlo. Smart. She bribed you? She paid me. It's wrong. Wrong? What about this whole campaign? What about it? We did this just to get back at your stepsister. She's not my stepsister. Would all candidates please come on the stage? Look, if it makes you feel any better, we'll split it. 50 I don't want her blood. It's just helping Ashley get exactly what she wants. Again. Conclusion, I promise that if elected, I, Liberty Van Zandt, will fulfill my responsibility. They really want us to know her name. Secretary. Liberty Van Zandt. Enthusiasm and even more enthusiasm. Thank you. Oh my god, I'm really fucking dropping these combos. Thank you very much, Liberty, for that enthusiasm. Next up are two candidates for school president. Each will have three minutes to deliver their speeches, and we will begin with JT York. You need something to laugh at. Now, if I could just say a few words about my presidential platform, this speech would be a whole lot shorter, but seriously. If there's one thing that I've learned in my zero years of political experience... What we got going on? Well, let's not Natalie Kinsley, thank you for the follow. The Appreciate you. What? You bribed JT. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I saw the money. That's corruption. Oh, how thrilling you learned a new word. Oh, you want thrilling? Wait till I go up on stage and tell everyone what you did. Oop. But JT took the money. No, he accepted it as evidence. You wouldn't. I will. I'm heading up there and telling everyone what a fraud Ashley Kerwin is. Oh, he. This kid is playing 3D chess. Disaster anyway. It might as well get worse. Your life's a disaster. I want my mom to be happy, and I've tried to be nice. But the moment you moved in, everything became all about me. <laughs> about me? Do you have any idea what it's like living in your house? Please. My mom dotes on you. She doesn't care what I feel, so long as you're happy. What? And now I can't get away from you. You're everywhere. At home, at school, even in my campaign. That's not true. I wanted just one thing that you couldn't take away from me. But you found me. Please. 
Before you go up there and publicly humiliate me, just listen to my speech. Then decide if you don't think I deserve to be president. She's got the looks, she's got the brains, and she's got everything. Don't pity her, pity me. Thank you. That kid's actually funny. still like to hear what Ashley has to say. Ashley? Ashley? We're fun players. Please. Ashley? No way. Yeah, whatever. I'm not lying. Yeah, right. Well, thanks, then, uh, Oh, look at little Drake. Congratulations, Miss President. Look at little Drake. Little champagne poppy. So, is this what defeat looks like or just guilt? Congratulations, Ashley. Yeah, whatever. I mean it. Get ready for the Congratulations. Battle. You you deserve to win. Okay. What have you done with the real TV Isaacs? It's my fault JT's in trouble for running the Joe campaign. I shouldn't have put him up to it. You're right, you shouldn't have. Ash, I'm trying to apologize here. I knew it would drive you crazy. I just couldn't stop myself. You hate me that much? Sometimes. I gotta admit, sometimes I feel the same way about you. The fact is, Toby, we have to live with each other. In the same house, and that sucks, right? And say that again. Does it have to suck this much? Maybe not. Maybe not. Are we bonding here? Bonding? Us? Well, for the first time in a month, I don't want to rip your eyes out. Wow. Dr. Freed would be so proud. <laughs> I like this little smart ass. How is that the... How is that episode three when episode two was the diddler? The the Diddy episode. Fine, fuck it, I'll just Oh, big night tonight, huh? Fine little girl out dancing with boys. You're all grown up? Dad. Oh yeah, I can see it now. Audio, make sure it's all good. Yeah, maybe in some alternate universe. What? What? Honey, wait. All right, cool. It's kind of. It's it, hopefully it seems all right. I'm fat. Guys don't even notice me. Terry, you're not fat. That's ridiculous. No, Dad, that's true. Honey, listen. I know two fat people. Beautiful. And you're both of them. Beautiful. Tonight you'll see. <laughs> Why did you put on her face like that? Because nobody's gonna want to dance with a fat cow like me. Oh, I feel bad. <laughs> I know I can make it through. I have. I'm here to fight people. I'm just. More interested in Digigrassi right now. I know. Does Spinner get with her? I feel like Spinner would get with her. I really appreciate this. 
So, are you going to the dance tonight? Um, actually, I can't. It's my dad. He's kind of old school. Okay. Hey, Terry! Uh, thanks again for this. Yeah, see ya. <sighs> okay, I am beyond nervous. This has to go perfect. Amazing turnout, zero problems. Otherwise, Brad is a daylight dancing for another year. <laughs> Just the man I was looking for. Hey, Pidge. So, you ready to get down? Huh? The dance, you are going. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, you better save a dance for me. Uh, yeah, sure, whatever. Look, I gotta get to my lock. So, what was with the spinner terror? <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, my god? Giving him some of your class first. Spinner went flat now. Since when? Fun, that's called a flirtation device. Something's happening with you and Spinner? No. Ashley's gone for her active imagination. You should totally ask Spinner to go with you tonight. Uh, no point. I can't go. What? You have to. You're on the dance committee. Ash, it's, it's not me. It's my dad. He's making me do chores. On a Friday? Come on. If Terry can't go, Terry can't go. Ashley! What a dick. You're late for the announcements. Tell me something I don't know, Liberty. I'm not through with you. Fuck off. This is such a funny. I can't believe you guys are chickening out. We're not chickening out. Fine. Fine. We're just not going to the dance, okay? I guess it's just me and you then. You did talk to your parents. Yes. And no. The dance was during school hours, fine. But it's at night. So who am I supposed to go with? Morning, people. Uh, I would like you to meet Sean Cameron. He was here for a few months last year before he uh, moved up north. Uh, why don't you tell the class a little bit about yourself? No. Okay, well, um, maybe once you've settled in. Why don't you have a seat? So come make history tonight when I host Starlight and Starbright, Degrassi Community School's first ever nighttime dance. Thanks again, Mr. Radich. And I know I speak for all of us when I say tonight is going to be the best dance ever. Okay, kids, now pull back on your excitement because today we're starting a unit on ta -da, romantic poetry. After you work Damn, she's so jealous. Reach for core power and rise to a whole new level of recovery. High quality protein to build muscle, the nutrition you need to power on. Champion your recovery with core power. I have zero idea what's going on in Tekken. Regency Furniture. Save up to 40% off furniture wall to wall. Plus get free delivery. Mad, mad savings store wide. Wait, there's more. Save on amazing doorbusters while they last. Like sofas, your choice, $3.97. Leather reclining sofas, $4.97. Queen beds, $2.97. Five piece dining sets, your choice, $3.97. Don't miss the madness. Save up to 40% off plus free delivery. The madness continues all weekend at Regency Furniture. Shop in store and online. Yeah, Regency. A reminder to all dance committee members. Please report to the gymnasium for setup. Round one. Fight. All right, Terry, what's the real story here? I told you, my dad. Yeah, and your dog ate your homework. I don't have a dog. Terry, you lying. I can always tell your eye twitches. Just talk to me. Why don't you want to go tonight? Because who'd want to dance with me? What? What are you talking about? This is crazy. I'm not letting you do this. Fine. 
Tell me how to lose 10 pounds in six hours, and I'll be there. I guarantee you that actress probably grew up to be very pretty. Oh, there he is, little Drake. What's going on? Must be weird being back and all. Don't worry. The guys won't treat you any differently because, well, you know. All right? Because of what? Is she gay? You know what you're missing? Self confidence. Seriously, Tara, just let me come over tonight. I'll get you dressed up. I'll do your makeup. You want to give Terry a makeover? What are we? Oh, he went to juvie. Talk? Okay. Speaking of which, bug, does does it audio wise? Does this sound fine? She starts feeling better about herself. We'll have a great time. Whoever we dance. I need more points. Well. If this makeover has to happen, I better be there too. Terry needs all the support she can get. Sheen went to juvie. Yeah. Why don't you just take that seat and that your... He do he, he do seem like a badass. Sounds Gucci to me, Chief. Emma. Why do the seventh graders look like five years younger than the eighth graders? Forget about her. I have an alternative. Okay, come on, guys. Quiet down. I want you to open up your books and we're going to read chapter four. Where'd you get these URLs? I got this cousin who's really into the net. Best thing about them? They're all free. Girls too sexy for me? I doubt it. I don't know. Come on, Tom. It's a rite of passage. I right, drop that. Open your books. Um, I, totally wish I, I specifically remember hating her. Do you have a real excuse? Those two Whatever, something Van Dam. Her. About a couple of prepubescent boys dictate your amusement. Oh, because you're so much cooler. <laughs> Liberty <laughs> Trans Am. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> she sounds like a fucking car. No. Okay. Right. So, um, we're off. See you later. Bye. Bye, Dad. Bye, Kate. One parent away, two parent away, three parent away, four parents are gone. What are we waiting for? Yeah. I, I, I knew it was something along those lines. We'll hurry up. Oh, God damn it. I hate her fucking. That's, I think that's why I hated her so much. I knew this was stupid. Tara, stop. You look incredible. Wow, you actually do. You sure? Totally. I know it's early, but I really have to set up. Terry, you are coming? I guess so. Uh, I just wish I wasn't so nervous. You go, Ash. I just want okay. to freshen up a bit. Terry, wanna wait? Paige, you look fine. Please, it's boiling in here. I've sweated off all my makeup. Uh, it's okay, I'll wait. Alright, but I've got to run. Terry, I agree. I'm so glad you changed your mind. I do agree, we need to get food. I'm dying. Oh, I was just sure you're okay going in there alone. I'm fine. Okay. Good luck. But do not walk home alone. Um, please. <laughs> the diddler. about you but i always get a little nervous before these things New hey you okay um get don't you think this outfit's round. a little too sexy hun it's not that wild then maybe it's not sexy enough well we could add just a few final touches 
Paige, I don't know if I can go looking like this. Harry, you're just nervous. You need to calm down. I think we could use a little glass for Sherry. Really? Like Sherry, what? Are they 12? Judo chop. Hey, this is old Miss Big Mouth. And look, she's got a heart on. <laughs> Ever wonder how the way you start your day can make all the difference? Tired of waking up struggling with congestion? Without Neil Med sinus rinse? You are likely to battle with nasal congestion, impacting energy levels and overall well-being. The choice is clear. A great uh, now I can't imagine starting my day without it. All natural sinus relief. Introducing the Wonkaverse on Amazon, a magical world of classic and beloved candies. No, I care about the Wonkaverse. Pixie sticks, gobstoppers, free, and many more. Shop the Wonkaverse now and taste the magic. You can disable it, right? You weren't just making that up. It's gone. Okay. Where should we start? Foxy Ladies? Babes in Heat? How about the one with three X's? Okay. Triple sex X X. Here we come. Oh, he's gonna put such so many viruses on that. Stupid connection dropped. Well, how long till it's back up? Could be minutes. Could be hours. See, the thing with guys, they love it when you take the lead. They do? What? They're shy too. You can't make them do all the work. <laughs> so don't be nervous. Be yourself, just maybe a little more so. Mm hmm This is helping. Here, take mine. Hun, the more you have, the better you feel. Trust me. Connection oh, oh, oh. back up. Boobage, here we come. Oh, nice. <laughs> Sure, number two. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Oops. Paige, you saved me. Yeah. You, you owe me big time. I do. Um, you, you're such a good friend, and I just owe you. Is she walking around with a bottle of Chardonnay? Oh, my God. Um, do you actually think I have a shot with Spinner? I like him a lot, and I want him to like me, too. Of course you do, and we're gonna make sure it happens. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, go to a school function. Drunk. Great idea. Finally, we're starting to think you weren't coming. We are not, Ashley. We're here. Uh, Terry? Bring Skinner on. I'm ready for my man. <laughs> Have you been drinking? I tried to stop her. Get her inside, now. How is it going? Perfect, Mr. Radich. Good. I just suplexed the fucking bear. Nice. 
Oh, puta madre. It's the Canadian shuffle. Jenny, what's up? Nothing much, nothing much. What's up? Thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. What's up with you, Jenny? They're going pretty good. Watched some degra uh worked out, did all my shit that I needed to do today. And now watching Degrassi and Let's do some more exploration. Playing Tekken, going out later tonight. Going to drink. Oh, yeah, hell yeah, I watch anime. It's just, uh... Actually, I'd say silicone. After watching Jujutsu Kaisen, I kind of need a break. That was, like, the most emotionally taxing thing I've ever fucking watched in my life. So I decided to watch something silly and stupid. Fucking Degrassi made it, uh... Joke between friends and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. What anime you watch, Jenny? My favorite anime is Sasuke Uchi. Uh, he's not anime, he's a character from Naruto. But uh, yeah, 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 same shit. I get what you're saying. Right now, Jujutsu Kaisen. You want thicker, stronger, fuller hair? You need expert skin care. New Dove Scalp Plus Hair Therapy Serum. Yeah, probably Jujutsu Kaisen is my favorite right now. Targets the source of beautiful hair, your scalp, for visibly thicker, stronger, fuller hair. Oh my god. 
Oh, I haven't. So I'm starting to watch Attack on Titan now because it's finally finished. Uh, that's actually why I'm like trying this out with the whole Degrassi thing. So, because typically when I watch anime and TV shows, like I'm, I got ADHD. The last episode was traumatizing for real of attack on titan yeah yeah i heard nothing but good things that it's up there with like fucking brotherhood so i'm i'm all about it 100 percent. i want to watch it actually now that now that i know how to do this i think i'm gonna stream me watching attack on titan next and then like you know gaming because the games i play like tekken uh Yu -Gi -Oh, uh and other games like it's fine i could do something while i'm playing those games at full capacity uh but like when i play league of legends i need to pay attention and stuff like that What's going to be your favorite character of all time? His dad and Kate came home early and found us. They made us look at porn sites with them, including sites with men. I don't know. Objectifying women. They made you look at Of all time? I'm not really too sure. I don't think I have one. I think they're all really good. Maybe uh L from Death Note. What about you, Jenny? What's your favorite character? Hey, are you feeling better? Look, here are those notes back. Thanks again. Yeah, Tear, thanks, but Spinner's gonna use my notes from now on. Oh, what a bitch you are, Paige. Are you serious? Sasuke Uchiha, thanks for asking. The so-called legend. What's up, man? Sasuke's your favorite uh, character of all time? Fair. Do you like him better in, like, n regular Naruto, Shippuden, or in, like, Boruto? Because I, I actually think he's really cool in Boruto. Yes, all of them. Doesn't matter. Just Sasuke. Bring it to me. <laughs> Fair. Hey, man. There's a reason why Boruto... I mean, sorry, Naruto. That Naruto universe is so fucking legendary. I mean, I'm like one season away from finishing it for the first time. The only reason I like it is because of Naru uh, Boruto. Uh, I like the Boruto fight scenes. So I had to rewatch all of Naruto, and I'm on the last season. I can't find it in English anywhere. Yeah, I know. I'm watching it in fucking dub. Sue me. Ooh, total punch. Oh my god. I like him the whole time. He was my favorite ever since he broke... Damn, since he broke the fucking Sound Ninja's arm in the tuning exams? Really? <laughs> yeah, in the manga, he ripped them off, I, I heard. Yeah, that's, that, which is fucking brutal as shit. Zoro, the king of hell? What do I not know? Like, what anime is that? Is that One Piece? No, One Piece. Is, I mean, he's a dragon. Yeah. And as long as they don't have to talk to each other, everything's fine. Sorry, man. I didn't know it was that serious. Yeah, well, it is that serious. Hey, we could contaminate the water fountain from E. coli. That way, they'd have to shut down the school, right? There probably is E. coli in the fountains. Actually, we test our water on a daily basis, boys. It's fine. Okay, guys, quiet down. Is it One Piece? Okay, my fault. Uh, ever since... 
Yeah. All right, hold on a second. You know what I'm making here? Right Ever now. since that movie's been my favorite. And then it only got better. I like the the whole like hold on a second. Let me see if I can find it. The whole he rips a fucking meteor in half and he's just like his face is covered and he's just like when Naruto's not here, I will protect the village. And it just dips off. I thought that 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 scene is what made me I was like, maybe I need to start watching Boruto and shit like that. But I hear that's from like I think that was from like the last or something. Yeah, that shit that shit was cool as fuck. And then the Momo Shiki fight. That was sick as fuck. But yeah, that that made me just want to watch Boruto, so I had to rewatch all of Naruto. I'm like one season away. Then uh yeah, from One Piece. Zoro Zoro's from One Piece. The Zoro like three blade Zoro. What's your idea, bud? They live on the street and they wash windows. It's their living. My father says that if another one of those ragamuffins tries to dirty up his window, he'll call the mayor. He knows the mayor. Oh, God, I hate that fucking Trans Am bullshit guy, kid. Last week, NAK told He's like not there to protect the village. Then I will. And Kakashi shits his pants and Sasuke leaves. Yeah, I know, dude. <laughs> yeah. It's fucking insane. <laughs> like, no, he doesn't. He just shows up. He's just blink of an eye. Like, what's up? Fuck your shit up. Like the an antithesis of what Naruto, of what Madara did, it was like. But what will you do of the other one, Inoki? And he's just like, yeah. Sasuke will just take care of both of them. He doesn't give a fuck. And then just dips away like it's nothing. Oh. Why you get so bothered. Everybody loves your mini nestles. Even Heather Sinclair said you're better than those lame old NAK hosts. Oh, yeah, they are oh. They're totally oh. Heather even has an agent. You could totally get an agent. Heather Sinclair has an agent. Is that everybody? No. See, Ashley's got the look and TV experience. It's perfect. Back. Where would Ashley find an agent? Uh, guys, Toby's mom is a casting agent. Terry, you rock! Hey, JT, come on. You gotta come up with an anti parents plan. What does it look like I'm doing? Uh, laying the siege for a massive heart attack? To plot evil, I need energy. Hey, this is the person I'm I was deep in the grass. Those Your first two episodes are a fucking yeah. roller coaster. So, so, is she coming to Parents Day? I would have been diddled. A hundred percent I would have been diddled. Yeah. Why? No reason. Uh second idea for the stream. I have no idea. It's not like people really No, not yet. Uh all of them are like, damn, it's over. He's like, nah. Yeah, Sasuke versus Kenshiki. Dragon Ball uh I'm good on that, bud. Think about it. That's the thing. They don't want us to think. They want us to become brain dead NAK robots. What's your turn? NAK Rage. What's NAK? Kind of like Rogue Rage. Mm. And the announcement? Mm -hmm. They have commercials. NAK Rage. They are trying to buy our brand loyalty in home room. Emma. Free I don't talk know. to. I could talk. Or I could take action. Maybe we'd say Imagine being her for They're so small. I thought his name was TJ. Okay. So then the guy hey, goes, what are you going to do for a face what? when the no. movie wants its butt back? I thought in second. This is a whole thing in second. For real? Yeah. What, you don't get it? The guy has a face like a monkey's butt? <laughs> in second. Spinner, do you think Ashley's prettier than me? What? No, I'm good on that, Jenny. Because she's thinking I really like when Sara took out the oh, regenerative ball I could totally see her on TV. from that one guy. With Chidori. I did not see that. I have not caught up with Baruto. I'm not even caught up with Naruto. I'm like one I'm on the last season of Naruto. Okay, so back to my joke. So then the guy goes Yeah, let me Yeah, yeah. After that, let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, yeah. So then the guy goes. Mr. Radish, could I talk to you about this morning's NAK broadcast? I'm always NAK is totally biased. This morning they tell us squeegee kids suck. And then they tell us what kind of running shoes to buy. It's wrong. You seen the new computers in the media immersion? Yeah, I'm a. Uh, 
I'm like one season away, like from finishing Naruto, and then I have to watch the the last. I so. But that's bribery. No, that's eighteen. Like I I was uh. Parents voted for it. Again, I did not like Naruto because it was just all filler at one point. So I'm like watching it without filler. Make sure you get it in by four o'clock. And like without filler, I'm actually really enjoying it. Think you can do it? Jenny, yeah. We're good on that, bud. Ain't gonna happen. So, I signed us up for the welcome committee, Terry, which means I will be the first person Toby's mother sees. Great. <laughs> Unless she sees him first. But yeah, I'm I'm reading two blue vortex. Well, I am helping That's out what made me start getting back into Naruto. Ashley, you asked me like three weeks ago to volunteer, remember? Anyway, see you two later. I'm pretty much caught up on two blue. So what do you want to do for dinner? Thai chili chicken. Chicken Caesar salad. Apricot ginger chicken. Chicken shawarma. Grilled mango pineapple chicken. Barbecue chicken. Korean barbecue chicken. When it's just right, it's got to be just fair. Oh, good choice. I can't believe the principal's asking me to do this. You're like attacking the school. I know. It's very cool. I'm good on that. Why, so you can make me a logo? I'm good on that. Okay, so My favorite uh, anime is Degrassi. Okay, I'm a squeegee kid. So how does it feel being compared to a cockroach? I'd say, hey, preppy kids, get off my case. We're people too. Oh, please. Could we move the chair? Absolutely not. Talk about negative energy. Um, Emma's right. I can whine or I can do something about parents. We got issues right now. Okay, so what are you gonna do? Convince my parents that there's. Yeah, I know. Problems? Little Drake is fucking insane. Okay. I downloaded the logo from the Degrassi website. Yeah, Drake's our favorite character. I scanned Aubrey Graham. Signature from the last letter he sent home. It's a masterpiece. Masterpiece or insanity. Okay. Parents don't have to come because of your exemplary performance and all of your scholastic pursuits. What? Translation? Amazing school. It's all in the details, my friend. <sighs> This'll work. It has to. <laughs> Liberty, my NAK editorial. I just finished. You're 17 minutes late. I'm sorry. The great fine deadline is for Liberty Liberty Trans Am sounds like a, a used a dealership. New super few extensions. It's 17 minutes. I suppose I can make an exception for you, but please try not to get used to it. Remember, as editor, I'm only as strong as my weakest link. Yo, are you a baker? You got some buns, girl. You know, this transfer to Degrassi is really hard. I've lifted Toby's grade classification to. Did you just call that the Farquad hat? Interesting choice of words from Mr. Simpson. No, you know, he's a computer guy. Writing isn't really his thing. Neither is spelling. Too easy. I really need to make uh. Stop! <laughs> I still need to do my hair and shit. Going on. Nothing's going on. I still, no, I still need to do my hair. So you, don't want me to go you can fuck it up as much as you want right now. I didn't say that. You didn't need to. Are you doing that badly in school or what? Talk to me, Toby. Bar quads. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> She didn't even tell me. You know, that is so no, typical of your mother. She just Fuck see? off. You guys can't be in the same room without so freaking out. That one looks great. Yeah, yeah, I like this one a lot. I like it with the other hat, though. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Only because I'm wearing the far quads. It's not like it used to be. No, 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 I was kidding, I was kidding, I was kidding. Don't do this, don't do this, don't do this, don't do it, don't do this. I was joking. I was joking. 100%. 100% joke. I was saying this. I just don't want the two of you to go there together. 
Ooh, eat a dick. Come on, buddy. Everything's gonna be fine. Damn, I'm just pounding no this bitch's total. What's up? <laughs> to be honest, I'm on the toilet right now, bro. <laughs> What's up, Jenny? Look at me, I'm shaking. You do it. Ow! Be careful. It's my eye. It's what I see. That's where I get most of my viewership. Sorry, I'm not good at this. Hoop comedy. Lady. I like your hat. Get your fuck. You get this shit out of here. I'm good on that, Jenny. You can follow me if you want. Fabulous. For who? The parents? Or Toby's mom? <laughs> See you out there. But I don't need anything shared with me. Now, how do I leave this place? Yes, she forgot. You know your mother. I'll give her two more minutes. Hey, Tobes. You'll be fine. This is Demkowski, room 102. Thank you. Hi, can I help you? Uh, Terry, this is uh, Toby's mom. We have yet to we have yet to get a Drake episode. Hi. Can I just say that is a great outfit? So. I, I, where am I gonna have to wait for this guy for this guy to get oh, shot? Cold Renfrew, on sale. Hey, mom. Besides making fucking hey, Sheen's hi. life a living hell. I'm sorry, I'm late. About hey, you know. You went to juvie. Flat tire. I told Toby that I might be held up at work. Oh yeah, Drake's in this ep uh, like Drake's in this show. He's he's uh what's Drake's name in the show? I always forget. You better get moving though. Neither do I. But yeah, 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 fucking that's where the whole meme comes. Michael, First name walking, last name never. So or... Hey Bubby. But yeah, yeah, yeah. He he's like he gets shot in this show. Like before Drake got famous, he was doing this show. That's why I never understand the song that go like um started from the bottom because he started on the grassy. Uh, there's no doubt Toby's a bright kid, but uh, he's trouble with details, particularly his spelling, some of the basic points of grammar. This tends to bring down his marks. For example, in uh, media immersion, Toby could be at the top of his class if he just applied himself more. Apply is such a relative term. Toby, come on. Your last media assignment was three days late. He's just not getting the results he should for someone so bright. Three days late? First I've heard of it. Toby? Jeff? It's turning a wheelchair, Toby? now he way up. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we're both the parents here, and we'll discuss it later, okay? We will discuss it now. Why aren't you helping Toby get his work in on time? Why is he underachieving? Toby and I will work it out. Thanks for bringing it to our attention. This teacher's in the middle of some shit, and he don't want to be there right now. What an ugly name, Toby. Yeah, he he, he gets, I think it's like season, what, what season was it? Like season five, I think? No artificial ingredients and no antibiotics, ever. Nice. Convenience, you can feel good about. Just right, just fair. I'm so proud of you. Rave review after rave review. Wow. Mom, my editorial. So what, you have to watch this video every morning? Free computer's a free computer, man. What idiot wrote this? Excuse me? I wrote that. Oh, sorry. I was... Don't look at her. It's my piece, and I'm right. Students shouldn't be force-fed advertising when we're at school. If you don't get it, you're the idiot. Emma. What look, it? it's not that serious. What? Expressing my opinion isn't important? Well, that's all my brother's trying to do. I could tell, and he's wrong. I'm wrong? Tell me, Emma, is it fair or is it wrong that Sean here is falling behind in school because we can't afford a computer? He can do his homework here. What, yeah, on three computers, huh? If you read the entire article, you would know That's that... That's a piece of garbage. It is not garbage. <laughs> Looks like garbage to me. Smells like garbage. Tracking, huh? All I'm trying to say is that there's two sides to every story. Try to remember that next time. It was only once, but 
Still, uh, skipping a class, even once at this grade level. What is going on here? One class. I got carried away in the computer lab. I thought moving in with you and June Cleaver was supposed to be good for Toby's grades. Wasn't that the point? What are you saying? Dad, come on. I'm saying maybe we need to reassess Toby's living arrangements. <sighs> what? Hey, that's your game. What? And breaking commitments is yours? That's why Toby lives with me. Mr. and Mrs. Isaac, these oh my are God. problems for many students. So it's my fault? Jeff, let's not even get into the reasons why I left, okay? Reasons why you left? Oh my god. I don't have an excuse. Dad can't do my homework for me or make sure I go to class. It's my life, right? So it's my problem. I mean, you're not wrong, kid, but Stop blaming each other and then using me as another excuse to argue. So it's not fair. I'll try harder. I promise. Literally, your mother's a cunt is what you're saying. Moving on. All right then. Let's take a look at some of these recent test results. Talk that shit, King. Okay, Toby just has to apply himself more. Yeah, we're gonna make sure that he does his homework on time. But it went okay. Toby, hun, that's so. I great. I hate Paige so much. Listen, I gotta run. Oh, oh actually. Huh? Yeah. What? But hey, listen. Your message came in loud and clear back there. It's we're going to the sorry. the drag show, right? Mm -hmm. All right, All thank. Between your dad and me. You wear that. I'm wearing the same color pants. I love you so much. They look good. Ashley, you have really good. permission to keep this monkey in line. What? Oh, I will. Don't you worry. And it was a pleasure. Yeah, I don't got the quads. An absolute joy. By the way, um, some things to remember me. Where's the next one? I'll tell you my rankings. Interesting look. What? Oh, I should have just pressed fucking one three. Spoken. Did you hear my brother? Looks like garbage. It smells like garbage. It wasn't garbage. Thanks. Oh my god. God, the last bastion of hope fucking Amazon Prime Video decides to put fucking ads. Convenience you can feel good about. Just right, just fair. Toby, can I speak with you for a minute? Listen, yesterday. I just wanted to apologize again for my parents' behavior. Toby, it wasn't your fault. Are they always like that? Only when they're together. Honestly, Mr. Simpson, yesterday was good. It cleared a lot of air. I'm glad. Oh, listen, before I forget. Next time you want to forge my signature, maybe you should spell my name correctly. And erase the file from the server. Mr. Simpson, I can explain. Good. Why don't you start with a 10-page essay on why it's wrong to falsify documents saved by, um, tomorrow morning. 
Whatever it takes, I know I can make it through, cause we hold on. You think Jimmy will like it? It is so- Oh, it's Jimmy! It's Jimmy! It's Jimmy! Shakespeare's language can It's be Jimmy. Helpful. His name is Jimmy. So what we're going to do is we're going to break up into groups and we're going to perform scenes from Romeo and Juliet. Oh, come on. Oh, we're going to perform the scenes next week with the text fully memorized. I'm playing Balthazar, who's she? I was tibbled. Let me guess. You're Juliet and Jimmy's Romeo. He's Romeo, but I'm the nurse. So who's Juliet? Paige. It's gonna be Romeo, Paige. Oh, Romeo. Wherefore art thou, Romeo? Ugh. Do they kiss? Dude, Paige is a homewrecker. The mating game. Hey, Topster, check it out. Dr. Sally's coming to Degrassi. Today. Who's <laughs> Dr. Sally? The sex lady. But she's only talking to the eighth graders, of course. Of course. It's totally unfair. I heard that she brings, like, props. And she gets graphic. As in, pornographic? <sighs> eighth graders get all the luck. Okay, people, as we discussed at the end of the last class, today you guys are going to create a website on an animal of your choice. Ooh. Can we do it on a specific animal, like Mama Onu? Mama who? Mama Onu. She's an endangered green turtle from the South Pacific. That sounds very important. Yeah. You know, but don't forget to have fun and use the technology and your imagination, okay? That's what uh, this is all about, is uh, taking the technology to the next step. <laughs> <laughs> what is this show? <laughs> it's just so stupid. <laughs> and I, thanks for letting me borrow your notes. Yeah. No problem, Sean. Really? Sally said it's your friend's brother. You don't. Okay. Yes. Oh, I can't believe yeah. you did that. Fine. Perfect. As the male becomes aroused, the penis fills with blood, and he gets an erection. Now, if you want to avoid herpes, AIDS, chlamydia, and an unplanned pregnancy, you must practice safer sex by using one of these, a condom. Roll a condom down over the penis, right to the base, leaving a space at the tip. This is very embarrassing. I know that. But it's something you really need to know. Protection for both of you. Yes. Hi. Um, yeah, I have a friend. Um, he's about my age. He and his girlfriend are, like, totally serious. I'm talking, like, eight months serious. Mm-hmm. And, um, how are they supposed to know when or if they're ready to, you know, do it? Well... Anatomically, physically, you're ready right now. But emotionally, psychologically, we're not sure. You have to be able to decide. Decide whether you like your body 
Okay, I will never eat another banana as long as I live. <laughs> I yeah, she she eats them, them without once. chewing now. We're not all gonna wait until we get married. I'm going to strangle Spinner. Can you believe he asked that? I mean, hello, who else at the school has been going out for eight months? Well, what about you and Jimmy? I mean, eight months is a long time. Our relationship is deep enough without sex. Look at what he made me for our anniversary. It's supposed to be his heart. Looks more like a pile of... I think it's sweet. It is so romantic. Romantic or what? Well, you got him a $50 silver chain, right? And he got you a hunk of clay. But what do I know? Ooh. Spinner's reading? Quick, record the time and date. <laughs> Yo, man, Shakespeare was wild. Juliet, like, does it with Romeo at 13. You know, I guess she was ready physically and emotionally, you know? <laughs> hey, Romeo, I've memorized my lines already. I heard she did it last summer at camp with the counselor. I have a girlfriend, remember? Right. Ashley will never get past second base Kerwin. <laughs> Spinner, you better shut your mouth, Mason. Look, all I'm saying is you got two diners, but only one selling fries, and you really got a craving for fries. Shut up. I, I can help you with your assignment. I, I get straight A's. And I get straight D's, so why rock the boat? Yeah, you look good in all of them. Okay, Sean. Uh, I have one more, I guess. The one they back turtle? Is that for media immersion? Isn't Emma already doing I am done with this. For her I'm going to start getting ready because now I'm hungry. See you later. That's okay, isn't it? Of course. 